morning. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 11. It's December 22nd, 18, 8, 17 a.m. 48 degrees outside. It was a little cooler this morning when we got up. I got up around 6.30. Um, I'm still feeling okay today, um, but I can't hear out of my ears. <laughs> you guys, I am over this, okay? <laughs> I never get sick like this, but um, I don't know. It just has attacked our household and it's holding strong. Okay, so I am opening my Globe In box. This is my last one. Not that I don't love Globe In. I really love it. I think it's a wonderful subscription service. Um, I just can't, I can't keep it. I have to, I have to let some subscription boxes go and this is one of them. It's a little more expensive than the others, um, but I really do enjoy it and that stinks. Okay, so I must have gotten the Globe In Chef. Uh, I let them pick which one they send me, so I'm surprised. And this is the Globe In Chef. Let's see what all is in here. All right, so we have a mortal and pestle in there. This one is more for spices, not guacamole. So there you go. That's nice. Okay. That's beautiful. Look at that. Hand painted. Oh, I love that. It's gorgeous. And there's the signature on the back. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I love that. And then here is... This is something, <clears throat> I'll read about it one second, it'll tell us what it is. And then this is this down here. Oh, it's a pretty, it's an apron. How cute, okay. Oh, that's super cute. I like that. All right, so there you go. So there's the box. Oh, there's something in the pocket. This is information about the apron. There we go, I like that. Okay, so let's read about this little. Yeah, utensil holder for your lunchbox or something. That's cute, because you can put actual utensils in here instead of having to purchase plasticware. I like that, it's made in Mexico. Utensil holder. Yes, transports uh, utensils safely and conveniently in your lunch bag. I like that, that's great. Okay, so there you go. Um, I will link Globe In. It's just globein.com. Right there. I'll link it below. Whoops. Uh, it's not going to focus. But it's not my link because, like I said, I have canceled my subscription service only because I had to make some cuts. Let's do our advent. Okay, so the 22nd, 23rd. Twenty second. Oh, this is the one I poked out like at the very beginning. Oh, interesting. Gingerbread. See, that's really what I wanted. Some of these, a lot of these. Red and green Rubios, honey brush cinnamon currants, candied pineapple, ginger, sh uh, maple sugar, white chocolate, palm kernel oil, and a few other things that I can't, safflower oil or vanilla, uh, contains milk and soy. So I can, I can definitely eat that one. And then the 11th, snow day. So cute, uh, peppermint leaves, oops, hold on, let me put this down. Peppermint leaves, cocoa beans, cocoa husk, chocolate drops, sugar, uh, <coughs> white chocolate pieces, whole milk powder, and sugar sprinkles. Contains milk. Super cute. Okay, yep, for sure. I, I have so many of these I need to catch up on and try. I like from every day. <laughs> and here's our ornament from Terry. Yay! So cute. Yeah, I'm for sure wrapping mine better next year. Yep, 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 yep. Do you remember those characters on Sesame Street? Yep, 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 yep. That's what that just made me think of. Oh, Terry. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I love that. Focus camera. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. 
absolutely oh absolutely love it when I was a kid my mother and my grandmother used to purchase the ribbon candy do you remember that that's what this reminds me of oh I love it you know absolutely love it okay I'm gonna go put on the tree there we go it's so pretty absolutely perfect I love it hello handsome what are you doing are you having a nap because you didn't get enough sleep last night mm, handsome baby with that great snout right there that great snout right there right there he's so handsome are you being adorable are you this is yasmin i know we don't see her frequently she is our senior pet and cat she was a couple years old when we picked her up in 2007 so she's quite old um, she had liver failure a few years ago several years ago actually and she survived it and before she had the liver failure she was a completely different cat she was very grumpy and not very friendly and you could not really pet her like this she would bite you and then she had the liver failure and when she came home from the vet she was she was this cat and uh, he told us that that can happen, it can completely change them. So, and it did, it sees its sweet baby now. We loved her before, we love her now. Just the same. Moses, yes, you're so pretty, you're so pretty, yes. Okay. <laughs> One of you, thank you so much, a few weeks ago actually told us about this camera and um, you're one of the comments I need to get back to. Um, and now also another vlogger, Katie O. Uh, well, she's changed her name. Did she change it? Let me, let me double check, hang on. This is Katie. Her channel was Katie O, now it's This Is Katie. Um, she has picked it up and is, has done a review on it. And it's funny because Rob came to me telling me about this camera from the comment and um, then we found that Katie had done a little review on it so I think we're probably gonna pick it up uh, we'll have to see uh, I need to really learn about battery life and stuff like that because that's where I have a problem is battery life also I don't edit on my phone so I don't know I need to do a little research on this but it's very promising I like how small it is um, and I like that it's steady and that kind of thing. So we're gonna check this out. We're gonna see, mm -hmm. we're gonna see. But you guys, seriously, it's the size of my hand. So I don't know if you want me to say your name on um, camera. I, you left the comment and I'm gonna go back to your comments so that I can personally thank you. Um, I need to go back to those comments anyway, but I'm so far behind you guys, <laughs> perpetually behind. Anyway, so, but here's the little camera. Oh, focus, come on. Teeny, tiny. See if I can, if it'll, is there, yeah, look how small that is. So, for sure, I'm going to check this out. Mm -hmm. All right, Chandler's coughing. I'll be back in a minute. So we're going to fix our little poinsettia out here that I got the other day. Last night I left the grill on. One burner only, thankfully, but I left it on all night. I've done that before. I just, oh. All right, so there's everything. If you see my recycling, I'm very sorry. Chandler needs to run it to the can, but he's been sick. So I need to run it to the can, and I haven't yet. The yard guys came yesterday. It's amazing what a difference it is when they get the leaves for us. I mean, they're still in the pool, but that's because the pool cleaner can't keep up. Is it full again? No, Rob emptied it. Uh, the planes having flown over, it's because it's very cold up there. Not so cold down here. Hi, Addie. Oh, we got to pull weeds. I need to go back to Pier 1 because those little battery operated lights, they're fantastic. Normally when you get those, the batteries run through them very, very quickly. Not these, and they're regular AA batteries. 
and I haven't, I mean, they've been on all day, every day since I got them and they're still going strong. Watch, now those burn out. But <laughs> the receipt fell out. Okay. So, here's one. Just so beautiful. You, I don't know if you can actually see me. So beautiful. Makes me want to sing the song by Christina Aguilera. I am beautiful. <laughs> Here's the other one. I know it's because I'm backlit. Let's see, can we fix that? That's a little better. Perfect, okay. And then here's the pine tree. And let's take Island Pines, grow the holiday spirit. Norfolk Island Pine Wood is used by Hawaiian artisans to make wooden bowls and other objects. Uh, uh, uh. Wow, okay, so it's a tropical. You can, it, but it actually began, okay, addressed for the season, this lively pine looks native to the North Pole, but it actually began as a seed on the faraway island of Hawaii. Its tropical roots, roots make it perfectly suited to bring warmth to your home through the holidays and past the new year. Yes, my little lovely friend, we are going to try and keep you alive, okay? So there it is. So we're just going to put these two lovelies right here. I just think they're so pretty and I need to water them. Ah! And I need to get some lights for them. So we have to run out today. Like I said, hold on one second. We have to run out today. So we'll see if we can run into Pier 1 and grab some lights. Oh, it's so pretty. I just love it. I absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. And then you know, string some lights on this pretty little pine. I wonder if I have something I can set right there. It doesn't really need anything. It's just so cute. It's so lovely outside. It'd be better if it were freezing cold, but I mean, 56 degrees, I know a lot of you would be cheering for that kind of weather. Um, you saw me pour the gingerbread. Yeah, that's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I will order this. Oh, it's caffeine free. Yes. I like that so I can drink hot tea in the evening. Whereas I can't do that with most coffees. I mean, you can drink decaf coffee, but decaf coffee tastes different than regular coffee. It's stronger. Whatever. I'm sure you can find some that aren't, but I don't. I'm so happy with my little trees over here. They're so happy. And they're so festive. Now, the challenge is, how long can I keep them alive? Hmm. We shall see. So, Elliot, Royal Reviewer, said he was going to show us in his weekly vlog his little, his little tree that he planted a few years ago. So, um, I hope you guys are watching Elliot. And his, his, he does a lot of lives and um, a lot on the Royal Family, but he also does weekly vlogs. And I, I am a vlog lover. I love watching vlogs, and that's primarily what I watch. Um, so we watch his vlogs. What's that book? See, I'm hiding my recycling. You don't even know it's there. <laughs> anyway, okay, so, oh, the table's all askew. The yard guys came and uh, we're blowing off the patio. So I don't, man, I don't know what we would do without them. Now the light's all weird. There we go. I don't know what we would do without them. I mean, I would have to be out here constantly cleaning. So they make such a difference for me. They're such nice guys and we always try and give them a little, little something extra this time of year. Although our crew changed. We had one crew and then recently they changed. Like it was, it's a completely different crew that comes. Um, so anyway, the owner of the company and Rob are very good friends. They've known each other for a long time. So, mm, this is good. It has a different taste. It definitely tastes like tea. Welcome to Texas. We have crows here. <laughs> you probably have them everywhere, but I call them Walmart birds because that's where they always are at Walmart. <laughs> He's mad. Okay, my battery light's flashing. I'm gonna enjoy this tea. I'm gonna stop rambling at you. 
and um, then I'm going to go inside and what do I need to do? I need to vacuum and tidy up a little bit and wait for Rob to come back home and then I think we're gonna bake some cookies. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. He's picking up some flour for me because I posted Alton Brown put a gluten-free cookie recipe up. So I think I'm gonna, sugar cookie, I think I'm gonna make that. And then there is a, um, oh, I can't remember the website. It's always on Facebook. Um, to do cookie decorating, icing. So I think I'll make that as well so we can decorate some sugar cookies tomorrow and uh, along with our gingerbread cookies. I think that might be fun. So I might try and get the cookies baked today and then we can decorate tomorrow because they have to be completely cool. Otherwise the icing just gets everywhere. So, okay. So it'll just be three days of cookie baking. <laughs> to keep a straight face but I can't with this one what are you doing back there I'm gonna be like men in black too yeah with the head <laughs> the head that popped out <laughs> oh my goodness okay so <coughs> excuse me he and I are just having a day anyway you saw me just roll out the cookie Jeez. Okay, I just had to cut because neither one of us can breathe at the moment. So the cookies are in the oven. They have about 40 seconds left and then I'll put the other batch in and I'm def bringing up to room temperature some butter. I know I can put this in the microwave or something. I don't really like to do that. So hi, honey. Hello, how are y'all? I was letting them answer. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, so um, I'll definitely make the sugar cookies later on today and uh, we'll get them rolled out and, and uh, cut up and cooked. And then tomorrow we'll decorate cookies. Um, I have a right icing recipe I'm gonna try. And then of course, the traditional um, just canned icing. It tastes so good on gingerbread cookies. So we're gonna do all that. So how are you? <clears throat> I'm fine. How are you feeling? I'm doing quite well. Slight, uh, slight motivational issues, but other than that, doing very well. Alrighty, let me get the little things out so I can get the cookies out. Okay, done that. I know, it's fine. Um, so I'm gonna pop this memory card in here in just a second and start editing while I'm waiting for this butter to come up to temperature, come up to room temperature. Ah, they're so yummy. Alrighty. Now I did some most gingerbread uh, shape and then some Christmas tree shape because it's fun. Anyway, so they'll cool on here for a few minutes and then we'll put them on the cooling rack to cool. But I'm gonna throw this memory card in and start editing and then um, later on tonight, we have to run to work for a little while, yes? Yes, we do. <laughs> He's back there hiding. And so maybe we'll look at some Christmas lights? Yes, we will. Yeah. He's not a big gingerbread cookie fan, but he likes sugar cookies. Oh yeah. And chocolate chip cookies, so and we'll make those. Butter cookies. Oh yeah, he likes butter cookies. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. Butter. These aren't butter cookies though. No. Nope. No, I'm sorry. I'll make you some though. It's all good. Just what I need more cookies. <laughs> so, hey, we all need more cookies. Cookies mm -hmm. are life. Yes, they are. All right, we'll talk to you in a little bit. <laughs> I'm a mess. 
Um, I'm gonna insert some footage right here real quick. Um, we just discovered a leak. So we called the plumber. It's 2.50, 2.50 in the afternoon. We called the plumber. They said they'll be here some point today, but there's no telling when. Um, you know, the weekend before Christmas, I would imagine it's pretty busy. Um, or maybe not, I don't know. I picked up some lights from Amazon. I ordered these the other day before I had these. Um, but we're gonna, oh, those are gold. Do I want the white ones or the gold ones? Let me get the gold ones, one second. We'll have to come back and see it at nighttime, but. <laughs> so I just put the lights on it there. I don't like that this, see I let them string this way to wrap around the front. I don't really like that. So I think, oh, the sun. I'm going to adjust that and bring it around the back. I had some slack, so I may do that. So let's try it. It doesn't look any different to you, but um, I just pulled it around the back. I just felt like that was a little cuter. And then it's under here. You probably can't really, s just barely see it in the daytime. It'll be fun at night. So there we go. I like that. Um, and it has a remote. So, and I have... <laughs> Look at this, this is ridiculous. I have all of these remotes and I don't know what goes to what. So I'm trying to figure out if these candles are this one. Off? Nope, it's not that one. What'd you do? Mama, mama. Give me smiles, give me smiles. Oh, you're the most precious baby. Wait a wait a <laughs> Look, somebody took out the recycling. He's very sweet to me. I went and got my ball. I'm such a sad dog that I can't play anymore. Here, let's play this way, Mama. Look. Yeah, no ma'am. I scooped already and I... And there's a bajillion more now. Is it full again? Yeah. Jeez. You're trying. It's all good. And now we're waiting for the plumber. Yep, after that thing keeps dropping more stuff. Yeah, that tree right there is a problem. It's called a china berry tree and it must drop 10 times a year, different things from little berry ball things to pods to leaves to you name it it comes off that tree and in the pool you upset that nobody is letting you outside yes i'm very sorry it's because we love you now would you please vacuum my rug hey grayson will you vacuum for me thank you i appreciate it i mean you're the reason i have to vacuum it's only fair that you should vacuum <laughs> no. So, today's not a great day, right, honey? So our leak is a pretty big one. Um, it's our water main. Sweet. Yeah, and it's due to the builder of this house 25, 30, however, 40 years ago, um, doing a really bad job of connecting the main to the main on our house. So. The pipe is kinked and messed up and it was just spewing water. And apparently it has been for quite some time because there is a massive cavity under our house. Mm -hmm. And that's probably one of the main reasons why this building no longer... In business. In business. Yeah. So, um, we're gonna go ahead and close out the vlog here. Yep. And um, we will see you tomorrow. Robbie went to work for dad tonight because he needed to go back to work, but Robbie went in for him. Team Rob's, player. Rob's been digging up the hole and 
to save us some money because you know emergency plumbing is not cheap so um <laughs> it's all good it'll be all right this is why you have savings and things like that so we, uh, get it, we will get it all <laughs> we will get it all taken care of and hopefully it's all fixed tonight and we will see you in the morning thank you for watching mm -hmm. um, sorry to leave on such a sour note but we'll see you first thing in the morning it's all good yolo yes good night good night